Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope all are fine. Isn't it? Okay. How is a rainy day? All of you enjoying? Okay. Then you are staying safe at home? Okay. What all things you have to learn in the previous class? Do you remember it? Now let's move to the first chapter. Evolution of computer. Evolution of computer. Let's start small recap. Now let's start small recap. Generation of computer. What are the generations of computer? What are they? First generation computer, second generation computer, third generation computer, fourth generation computer, fifth generation computer. There are five generation computer, first generation, second generation, third generation and fourth generation computer. First generation computer. Remember first generation computer? First generation computer 1940 to 19. 58, 1940 to 1958, first generation computer used in vacuum tubes, input and output devices are punch card, only one input and output devices used in first generation computer that is punch card, next main characteristic, slow in speed, required a lot of power, very large in size, very expensive. Then example ENIAC, UNIVAC. First generation computer, big size. First generation computer have big size. First generation computer 1940 to 1958. First generation computer used in vacuum tubes. First generation computer input and output devices are only punch card. Then characteristic example ENIAC and UNIVAC. Then main characteristics are slow in speed, required a lot of power, very large in size, then very expensive. Next second generation computer. Second generation computer 1959 to 1963. Second generation computer 1959 to 1963. Second generation computer used transistor. Second generation computer used what? Transistor. Then input and output devices. Second generation computer used input and output devices are punch card and magnetic tape. Punch card and magnetic tape are used in the Second generation computer, main characteristics are smaller, faster, cheaper. Second generation computer, main characteristic, smaller, faster and cheaper. Example, IBM 1401, RCA 501, IBM 1401, RCA 501. First generation computer 1940 to 1958. First generation computer used vacuum tubes. Then input and output devices are punch card. Slow in speed, require lot of power, very large in size, very expensive. Example ENIAC, UNIVAC. Then second generation computer 1959 to 1963 used for transistor, input and output devices, a punch card and magnetic tape, there is smaller, faster, cheaper, IBM 1401 RCA501, these are the two examples. All of you understood first generation and second generation computer? Okay, let's move third generation computer. Third generation computer 1964 to 1970. Third generation computer use integrated circuit. Integrated circuit that is a chip. Third generation computer use integrated chip. 
then input and output devices changes are coming in third generation computer input device keyboard then output device monitor keyboard and monitor are used in third generation computer main characteristics smaller faster and cheaper increase storage capacity available to general public increase storage capacity available to general public example IBM 360 Apple 1 example IBM 360 and Apple 1 once I more repeat third generation computer 1964 to 1970 integrated circuits are used in third generation computer that is a small chips are used next input and output device input device using keyboard and output device using monitor changes are coming for the third generation computer then next main characteristics smaller faster and cheaper increase storage capacity available to general public example apple 1 ibm 360 next fourth generation computer four generation computer they are more powerful and reliable than previous generation computer they are more powerful and reliable than previous generation computer fourth generation computer is more powerful and reliable than previous generation computer na fourth generation computer is more powerful and reliable than previous generation computer they use microprocessor fourth generation computer use what microprocessor are very large scale integrator circuit vlsi very large scale integrator circuit which contain mainly on a single chip which contain mainly on a single chip four generation computer use for microprocessor microprocessor is a single chip very large scale integrator circuit four generation computer they have high storage capacity storage four generation com- computer storage capacity is is very high they are much smaller faster and cheapest among the generations they are much smaller faster and the cheapest among the generation example of fourth generation computer ibm pc apple macintosh hp 9000 they have high storage capacity they are much smaller faster and the cheapest among all the generation example ibm pc apple macintosh hp 9000 then input and output devices four generation computer use input and output devices input devices are keyboard mouse scanner and so on a keyboard mouse and scanner input devices keyboard mouse and scanner then output devices monitor printer speaker output device monitor printer speaker again some changes in fourth generation computer input output devices use for keyboard mouse scanner output devices monitor printer and speaker okay changes for input and output devices keyboard use keyboard mouse scanner for input device monitor printer speaker so output device and Four generation computer used for microprocessor, single chip VLSI, very large scale integrator circuit. See, this is a microprocessor, small chip. It's a microprocessor, four generation computer. All of you understood? Next, fifth generation computer. Fifth generation computer, present used in fifth generation computer. 
फिफ्थ जनरेशन कंप्यूटर आर स्टील अंडर डेवलपमेंट फिफ्थ जनरेशन कंप्यूटर आर स्टील अंडर डेवलपमेंट दे आर एक्सेप्टेड टू हैव फॉलोइंग कैपेबिलिटी दे आर एक्सेप्टेड टू हैव फॉलोइंग कैपेबिलिटी फिफ्थ जनरेशन कंप्यूटर आर स्टील अंडर डेवलपमेंट दे आर एक्सेप्टेड टू हैव फॉलोइंग कैपेबिलिटीज use of super large scale integrator chips use of super large scale integrator chip fifth generation computer use super large scale integrated chips then artificial intelligence a technology that enable a computer to think like human and perform human like tasks such as voice recognition decision making and translation between languages artificial intelligence technologies that enables a computer to think like human artificial intelligence means computer think like human and perform human like tasks such as voice recognition decision making translation between languages these are the changes for fifth generation computer ability to recognize image and voice ability to recognize image and voice ability to solve complex problems including decision making and logical logical reasoning ability to solve complex problem including decision making and logical reasoning what are the generations of computer first generation computer used for vacuum tubes second generation computer used for transistor third generation computer used for integrated circuit fourth generation computer used for microprocessor then fifth generation computer artificial intelligence all of you understood okay i think all of you have understood this lesson evolution of computer okay now let's move to the worksheet section the worksheet is to write different generation of computer different generation of computer thank you have a nice day